Hello my friends and welcome back to Ostrif, where we left last time. Uh, we, unfortunately we didn't have much time to do a lot, but at least we started our village. At this moment we have already built uh, 5 houses and we have 4 more to go, at least, to be able to evacuate the remaining uh, families from their tents. In the meantime, I just finished building the carpentry, but I won't let anyone work uh, for the moment because uh, we have three carts and none of them are broken. Um, yeah, the first thing, uh, the most important now is to finally finish building all uh, the houses and then we'll see what we're gonna do. Um, our smithy is working, just one person at the moment, and he is producing uh, nails and metal parts. Let me check my stock of nails. Okay, we still have about 500, which will allow us to build five more houses, because if I'm not mistaken, one house takes uh, 100 nails. Yeah, one thing is, um, when we'll have our first uh, type of food, uh, uh, we'll need to sell it, but we don't have uh, we don't have a storage facility for this food, so we'll have to build a granary. I wish I I would have left more space here, but okay, we're gonna play with what we have. So I'm going to place my granary as close as possible to the market stalls and I'll put the grain granary just after the four remaining houses. In the meantime I hope that at least someone, some merchant will pass uh, through our city from those three other cities. Because if not, I'll have to be forced to send my my own merchants, and this is uh, this costs money. Okay, our forestry it already has maximum wood, so hmm, I can take one forester and put it to the builders. Um. As I said last time, one forester, oh, and it's gone. The second one also is gone for some reason. I guess he doesn't want to work. Hmm. Okay, and no one is looking for a job. Um, hmm. That's strange, actually. Yeah, we have another one, or is the same one? Uh, as I try to explain, um, you need two people, at least two people, to be able to carry logs, but one people can cut the existing logs into wood and firewood and eventually bark, that we'll need at some point later in the game. Okay, so three more houses to go. For some reason I didn't have had sound, but now I do, so everything is fine. I prefer to not run the game at the maximum speed. I always feel like I'm, I may uh, lose something or skip something. We can hmm, start building some how are they called cart parkings mm, where do I want them 
I could put one here next to the smithy for example and not very far away from from the granary like so and one here next to the carpentry okay and then once they're gonna be built I'll be able to move these three carts to well, one of the of those uh, card box and then order some more yeah we have this not enough workers to chop trees so as I as I was saying uh, but it's okay we have uh, 11 more logs so we're good for now we are already September I think we have time up to December so two more miles to build the houses and we'll also have to build some storage and yay we have our first visitor messenger and unfortunately it doesn't have anything of interest for us as you can see it offers salt and lime we don't need any of them salt is used for um, dr drying drying out the fish and lime is used for producing leather and they demand wheat we don't have any and shoes we don't have any so yeah <laughs> I was hoping to get an offer of some food but I guess we'll have to wait more so as I was trying to uh, to say we need to build at least one warehouse and I'll build it also here this is gonna be like a central hub I wish it was larger but we'll play with what we have so warehouse okay somewhere like here and then eventually we'll build a second one here and in this row we will add market stalls as we need at the moment one is enough because the only thing that we are selling is firewood and as you can see we already uh, sold 200 pieces of wood and unfortunately the game doesn't tell us uh, the prices so we have no way to see the prices uh, nor control them okay I'll set the wage okay so here yeah huh. I guess some of you noticed last time that I forgot to you know, reduce the wages for uh, not only laborers but for workers so what it was yeah it's okay and here it's 60 what other places we have here yeah he is earning too much and the thatchery it's okay so we are waiting for two more houses the closest city Balaklia is at 30 gold away from us so yeah if you don't get another trader, I'll send someone there. But to be honest, um, you know the the granary it's gonna be it's something for the future. We're gonna need it. But even if we don't have the granary by the time we have imported some food or anything uh, for that matter, it can remain here in the trading post. And I don't think there is a limit, or at least the limit is uh, is quite important. So you can store, we can store uh, stuff here if we need. Okay, let me check the wealth of my families. They're okay. 
they are steadily increasing as my bank account is decreasing. As you can see, I'm taking a little bit of house rent. I have a little bit of sales, but not much. And I paid all, already almost 200 gold pieces for, uh, for as salaries. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Just a little bit, it says 300 thatch. Oh, it was waiting for this thatch. And now someone will complete the building. And it's done. Now one more family is moving. This family has four members. I'll take, take all their stuff and their tent will disappear. Yeah. So one more tent. And then I guess I could start removing this clutter. I'll also remove uh, the well once at least one of my new wells will be built. As for these two, they will disappear, also disappear by themselves. Uh, the camp storage when our warehouse will be built. And the camp center where when our town hall will be built. So yeah, we will build some other uh, buildings here. Like the town hall in the middle. Now uh, then some uh, religion buildings like a chapel or a church. So let me check my my iron supplies. Yeah, we still have some. Yeah, I forgot one thing. So now that we have our trading post, we can start delivering, uh, you know, the, that minimum of goods that we can trade. So from my uh, quite limited experience with this game, some traders will request uh, charcoal. Uh, and charcoal is very easy to get, so I'll tell it to keep 2000 charcoal. And no one is working, but we will allow some laborers to deliver it. And what? <laughs> it looks like we have just two laborers at the moment. Uh, one thing to notice is that women cannot use carts, so only men will use carts. So yeah, it's going to take a long time for uh, two women to deliver all the char charcoal. But I guess we have time. There's always a delay from the moment when you accept the transaction and the moment when the merchant will actually come to take delivery of uh, the stuff that they ordered. Um, so yeah, even if you make a transaction and you don't have the stuff in the trading post, uh, you have time to deliver it. So yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, so now we relocated all our nine families, so at least no one will die due to the winter and you saw I put one more house to be constructed just to fulfill uh, the housing uh, condition I don't know should I send someone uh, okay let's send someone well our trader, our merchant to Balaklia. Yes, we're gonna pay 30 gold, but it's a gamble. I hope to get an offer of some kind of food. In the meantime, I hope my last and tenth house will be built, which will mean that we are 
already. Okay, what is this? <sighs> we got a merchant from Mar Marefa, but it offers only live chicken and it demands sunflower and buckwheat. We don't have any and we can take live chicken. Unfortunately, I was, you know, luckier when I last time when I played actually. So, yeah. Our last chance is that luck they will have something to eat. Okay. Yeah, I'm really, really unlucky as you can see. None of them uh, is offering uh, us food. Guess I could buy a thousand units of iron just in case. We don't need cows, pigs and horses at the moment of lime. Yeah. As I said, I was more lucky when I played last time. So, I don't know, maybe we should start building um, the fishing dock. But it's already November. So, by the time it will be built, we won't have any. Uh, we won't have the, uh, the possibility to fish. So yeah, I guess I guess I'll um, I'll take one man from construction and I'll put it to smithy so that they produce more uh, nails and metal parts. Because I don't think we're going to have nails in the near future. So, yeah, 300, yeah, we have a little bit more. So, what I'll do is I'll keep uh, building my queue. And maybe in the meantime, we'll get some other trader from other city. And uh, yeah, if I'll have time, I'll build my uh, fishing dock. So at least uh, uh, when, the, when the time will come, we'll be able to fish some. Okay, no worker to unload trade of wagon. Okay. Hmm. This is a forest tree. Can I? Hmm. Should I take a worker from? Yeah, I'll take two. And hope that they'll be at work soon enough. Because if not, if you don't have workers, when this wagon arrives, uh, the merchant arrives, then eventually it will go away. So you will miss the transaction. And this transaction may be vital for you. So um, eventually we'll have two permanent workers into the trading post, but now we cannot afford them. So I have two persons here, one here, none for the carpentry. So as you can see, although we have one house available, we don't have enough food.
Let me check my cards. They're almost gone. Okay, so uh, soon I guess we'll have to uh, put at least someone to work in the carpentry to be able to uh, repair the carts. I don't know how much uh, metal parts are needed to repair a cart, but I think to build one you need, I don't know, 15 or 30. Okay, so now they'll go and build uh, the wells. And it's already winter, because as you can see it's December and it start uh, to snow, starting to snow. And the cars are almost consumed entirely. Okay, so I guess first they'll build this well. I guess we can demolish this well. As you can see, demolishing also gets in the queue. And one card is broken. So I'll put a worker in my carpentry and I'll have to spare one from construction. And I can tell it to use laborers to supply uh, its needs. Yeah, using laborers can really speed up some operations, but sometimes um, you need to take them out because you may have some other projects which are uh, more important at the moment. So it says that nothing is ordered, in the sense that we haven't ordered any new cart, but the carpenter should go, well, he should find out that one of the carts is broken, and I think he is, is, no, is someone returning, and that I think is, a, no, where is the carpenter? So the carpenter is taking a rest, yeah. He started his work at the carpentry by taking a rest, instead of actually go and do some, some useful stuff. Okay, so I guess we can at least plan the fishing dock. Okay, and somewhere here, like so, yeah, and then we will also need a boat yard, which is actually producing the boats. So we'll put it somewhere here. Okay, now we have, where is our yeah, we have one car parking, so yeah, all three of them are broken, so we can start relocating our carts to their new parking. But I don't think you can move them. Yeah, you can. I can move them now, and then wait until they're Gonna be built. Do we have enough materials to build our fishing dock? Wood, nail, thatch. Yeah, it's gonna take some time until it's built.
We have our granary, but it is of no use for now. Okay, so one more card to be repaired. And we are out of logs, which means that soon I'll need to designate a second worker in my forest tree. I'm thinking what other, other goods can we prepare for the trading post uh, to be traded. Mm, I've never seen thatch being demanded. I've seen only charcoal, or firewood, maybe, so I don't remember, maybe also there is a chance, but the chance to get to, you know, to, to go to get an offer for firewood is quite low, so why bother? I mean, if someone will need firewood, we will just deliver it to the trading post. So, I'll take someone and put it at the forestry. And yeah, we are officially out of wood. So maybe I should take a second one and also put it here. Yeah, that's that's a common problem when you start the game because you have so few uh, workers. And I hope, I hope that they gonna give us some food. This is impossible. This is impossible. Four times and four out of four, no one is offering some food. That's that's impossible. It's actually the first time that it's happening. And they also demand stuff that we don't have. Great. And no one wants to work for some reason. Finally. Okay, so finally two of them will go and cut some trees. I think each tree gives two logs, so they'll do one trip and then a second trip.
I guess we could start ordering some more cards. Steal a lot of uh, wood needed for the boatyard, the fishing dock. Unfortunately, there is no, there isn't a way to add laborers to the construction. So it's actually the builders themselves that are carrying the materials. Luckily, they are usually men, so they can take carts if uh, we if we have carts available. So what I'll do, I'll take one worker and I'll add it to the construction. Uh, the carpenter, actually. Because at the moment we really could not afford more carts. Okay, so they finally transported all the required materials. Now the only thing that remains is to actually build the thing. And then we'll need boat yard and we'll have to order uh, some... How, how they call the fishing boats. So yeah, unfortunately we have a slower start than I thought because we were numerous times unlucky but we're getting there so the spring will come we'll be able to start fishing and then once we have fishing uh, we will be able to, uh, to get the immigrants so yeah, and with, with immigrants, we'll have more manpower. So, uh, yeah, our operation will move faster. There is actually a problem when you need some operations like um, transporting logs. You need two men or two individuals and one is working while the other one is taking rest. So in some extreme cases they will never meet and none of the work will be done. And in this case it's better to have at least three uh, workers so that two of them uh, are always more more um, uh, likely to be present. Okay, so we built our fishing dock from here. We'll order our boats, but we don't have a boat yard. Yes, I can delete this temporary cart parking. Yeah, cart parking. Let's 
So yeah, the town hall is quite expensive. Hmm. Woodwise. Uh, let me check my nails. I don't have any here, so we are 100% relying on the output of the smithy. So yeah, even if we were to uh, need to build uh, some additional houses, we all won't be able because we don't have enough nails. You know what, I can stop the production of the metal parts and let the smithy guys concentrate only on nails. Okay, so the ice is melting, which means that this is a sign of uh, uh, spring coming. Yeah, we'll take these two guys out and put them here in order to speed up the building of the boatyard. I'll actually pause the warehouse building for the time being. So really, the spring is returning. This year we cannot afford to have some farming. We will eventually. Uh, the most important thing now is to get some fish produ production so that we can get new people. Okay, finally, so I will request two workers for the boat yard and at least three for the fishing dock. But I have to take out the builders because we don't need builders at the moment. Um, I don't know what is required to build boats. Do they require nails and metal parts? Okay, so we have a worker at the boatyard, but for some reason we don't have the second one. So we'll let laborers help them get the required materials, which are actually just wood. Okay. So this way we'll speed up the production, except that we don't have any worker at the forester, forestry. So 
So as I said, man can use cards, which is faster. Okay, so the first boat is already in production. And it stopped because they went to get more logs. And the second one is taking a rest. So they both are taking a rest. Great. When we need them the most, they usually go and take a rest. Okay, so we have the first boat, now it will take it to the fishing dock. And as soon as it will be to the fishing dock, someone should take it and start actually fishing. And the second boat is ready. Once we'll have all three of them. Obviously I'm gonna take them out. Boats just like carts, they break eventually, so they will need to be repaired, at which point we will need at least one guy in the boat boatyard. Okay, and, and, yay, we have the first fish. Now we need to let the market sell some. Okay, fish. So, someone should soon go and claim this fish. And as soon as we'll have the fish on the market, we should have new people coming in. And also this fish is not given for free to the population. It is sold, so it should help a little bit with the money. So not enough food, we're still waiting for fish. And yeah, we have three boats. Now we can take those two workers out. Maybe put some work at the forestry. Yeah, why is it still saying not enough food. That's actually strange. Do we need lots of food before we satisfy that requirement? I didn't know that there is a minimal amount. I thought that once we have at least something on the market, then it's gonna be okay. So if we look at the economy, we already sold 40 fish in total, which here it says 20. I guess some people will take it up. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we are in green, so now, in theory, 
we should start seeing people coming into our city which means that we should build more homes and expect even more Yeah, I'm really waiting for our first migrating family before finishing this episode. Should I speed it up further? Yay, and we have a new family which is one of those giant families as you can see three kids but also three parents which is really really unlucky but oh well I guess it is what it is as I said it's gonna be much harder than I hoped it would be but we don't have other option at the moment so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe leave a comment in the comment section below if you have anything to say or to give a suggestion and i hope to see you all next time and i wish you all a great day bye bye